Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. I am so excited to share this particular haul with you. Fall is my favorite time of year, and I especially love to do the Walmart hauls because I know that you all enjoy them. I went and I picked out a bunch of my favorite pieces, and we're going to look at them all in head-to-toe outfits. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get right to the try-ons. Fun fact, I pulled the gel cushion mat from my kitchen to put beneath me because I have hardwood floors. They're actually stranded bamboo, and I don't want to sound like a herd of Clydesdales when I do turnarounds on the hardwood floor and the heels. So this mat normally wouldn't be here, but I thought it would help with the sound, at least I hope. And I'm also hoping that it doesn't sound too echoey in my living room. I do have on a ribbed knit mock turtleneck. I'm one of those people that does not like anything close to my neck, and I didn't know if this would bother me. Honestly, I can't even feel it, and I'm really impressed and surprised and pleased with that. I have on this duster cardigan, and this is in a cognac color. Walmart has this in several colors, and I will be showing you some other colors in this video, but the thing that drew me the most to this was the fact that it has the big, deep walking slits, which I always find to make it more comfortable and more practical. This does have buttons all the way down the front, but typically I will go with a column look where I'll wear a solid color underneath and not button this. So all I do is a loose tie in the back and I just let the ties hang. I don't tie it in a bow because then it looks a little bit too fussy. I typically will pull the sleeves up and wear it about like this. I'm also carrying a purse that I got at Walmart. So here's the purse close up, and I find the colors in this particular purse and the pattern to be very, very versatile. There are tons of pockets inside and outside of this purse. It does have an adjustable strap, and I could just as easily wear this on my shoulder. I like to hook this one in the crook of my arm and just carry it like I showed you a moment ago. It even has pockets on the side here, which I think are great for sunglasses or even a cell phone if your cell phone fits in there. While I'm in tight, I want to show you the details of the top as well as my jewelry. So my jewelry, as usual, are clearance rack finds. So we'll start with these earrings. They're kind of a hammered gold tone and they have an ivory, kind of a cabochon circular stone in the center. And then I found the matching bracelet that matched it perfectly. And this bracelet was kind of the inspiration for this outfit. You know I'm a little bit gaga for bracelets. I always wear either stacked bracelets or a statement bracelet. And I paid $4.50 for the bracelet and $1 for the earrings, so I couldn't beat that. So this is a close-up of the ribbed knit sleeveless mock turtleneck. And I like how it has a little bit of asymmetrical ribbing as well. I think it gives it a little bit of visual interest and texture. I like it better than if the ribbing were to just go straight down. This is sleeveless, and I'll take this off in a moment just to show you how that looks. And this is the cardigan close-up again, and this is a very very soft cozy i would consider this to be a mid-range weight sweater it's not overly heavy and chunky but it's not light and just for summer either i like the weight i think it's perfect now as much as i like this cream mock turtleneck and i'm always fussing with these necks i never seem to quite get them to lay right I found this to be too thin to wear on its own. Now, if you've watched my videos in the summer, you know that I always say I do not want to have to put a camisole or something on under a top. I do have frequent hot flashes and I just can't do that in the summer. But in the winter, I'm a little bit more inclined if necessary. So in this case, I pulled just a white, it's a very thin, just a very inexpensive standard tank that I got probably under something else that was sheer to put this underneath because otherwise my skin tone should. And speaking of showing through, I do find that this particular color of jegging is a little bit too sheer for me. I don't mind it with a long duster, but I wouldn't wear these on their own because you can a little bit see through them. And I'll show you how the back looks. There are working pockets. The front pockets are faux. I feel like they kind of show bumps and lumps a little bit, but again, I wouldn't wear these on their own. I would always have on a long duster. I had planned another outfit around these wearing a jacket to give a completely different look, but because of how see-through they are, there's no way that I would wear these on their own, but I would wear these as a layering piece, and I did just want to point out that you can somewhat see through these. So let's see another look. This is another look that I created with the same winter white jeggings. And I told you with the previous outfits that I was concerned with how see-through they are. So I picked a long tunic style top in this instance. And I really do love this buffalo plaid top. 
It's a woven fabric. It has a rounded hem and you can see how far down it comes. So even though you can kind of see through the jeggings, it doesn't matter with this top. So I'm much more comfortable in this actually. I have the same ripped knit duster length cardigan on and the same perforated peep toe boots. And I have to show you this jewelry. I know I go on and on about Walmart jewelry. I love this bracelet so much. I love the cognac color, the winter white, the little medallion, the touches of gold with a little bit of sparkle, this green braid detail. And on the back, one of my favorite parts is it has a magnetic closure so I can get this on and off easily by myself. I have on another pair of clearance earrings that I paid $1 for. And they have the same cognac that's in the sweater and in the shoes. These bring out the definite inner hippie chick for me. I just love these. This buffalo plaid top that I'm showing you is a woven. And what I like about it is it's not your classic button down plaid shirt. I like the size of the checks. It's this pretty teal and winter white and it has a flattering V split neck. And I'll take the sweater off in just a moment to show you that it has full sleeves, but also roll tabs so you can wear it at the three quarter length. And this is the rib knit sweater again, a little bit closer up. So here's the buffalo plaid top without the sweater on top. I like the split V neck and I like how long this is. It has a rounded hem both the front and the back and you can see how long this comes. And again, I'm 5'4 as a point of reference. Even though these jeggings are slightly see-through to me and I would definitely not wear them with anything that, that didn't cover all of this. I, I know this is TMI, but I have kind of pockets of cellulite right in this area. It's hereditary. It doesn't matter what I weigh, what I eat, how I exercise, I will always have it. And I just accept that fact. But typically with a pant this light, it's going to show that and especially something form fitting like this. But this just hits me in such a way that it kind of covers that area. I love the colors in this. So let's look at another outfit. Now I realize that this next look is not for everyone. There is something about the fall that brings out the inner lumberjack in me. I don't know how else to describe it. Suddenly I want to wear hiking boots and boyfriend jeans and plaid shirts. Now you'll see a wood stove behind me. I don't cut the wood. So why do I like to dress this way? I don't know. If I needed to cut wood though, I know I could. <laughs> Just putting that out there. I could cut the wood if I had to. But I took the same buffalo plaid top and I did a front tuck. I have on these loose fitting boyfriend jeans that are by Levi Strauss. And again, I'm going to list everything below. I wish I could put links, but Walmart's website just doesn't, doesn't work that well, to be honest with you. I didn't used to like any type of crop jean because when I was growing up in high school, if your jeans came up above your ankles, they were floods and you didn't want to be caught dead in floods. However, I find that having a crop jean really shows off your shoes, right? <laughs> so now I'm a fan. So I have on these hiking boots and fun fact, I don't hike. And if you ever see me running, run also because something is chasing me. It is right behind me. Seriously, I don't run. I'm going to take the shoes off and show you close up, but I just want to show you this outfit. I have on the same bracelet that I love so much that was $1.50. This outfit is so comfortable and actually so out of my normal aesthetic. I am truly a girly girl. I like things that are pretty and feminine and complement the figure in general. But for some reason, every fall, I, I gravitate back toward this lumberjack look. So this is strictly a fashion statement. When I get off camera, I, I don't turn into Paul Bunyan. <laughs> Um, I can cook and, you know, I keep things up, but I'm, I'm not out there hacking down trees, so I don't know why I want to dress like a lumberjack, but I, <laughs> I just love this style, and I like the teal that's through this plaid. A lot of plaids are more earthy colors, and I gravitate toward jewel tones, so I really like this top a lot, and I just leave it kind of hanging out, the rounded hem in the back, and I want to show you these shoes close up. So here's this shoe close up. These shoes are so comfortable. They have these knit sock padded lining right around the ankle. They have memory foam on the inside. They're kind of a faux suede. I like the lace-up detail with kind of the brass looking hardware and the variegation on the shoelaces. These shoes, needless to say, have incredible tread. Look at that. That's better than the tread on my car right now, which reminds me I should probably look at my tires, but that is 
a lot of tread. These are very stable, very comfortable. I can completely imagine wearing these when it's icy and when it's snowy. I was so on the fence about these shoes. I kept telling myself I didn't need them. I have enough shoes, but I was so drawn to them. And I was reading the comments that you lovely ladies leave, right? And two of you in particular pushed me over the edge. I got back in my car and went back to Walmart and thank my lucky stars, they still had my size. That was my biggest fear that I would finally decide I was going to get them and then my size would be sold out, right? But the two people that made me think twice about these shoes, besides my own inner demons that I was facing, are Robin from Robin's Closets. And Robin does have a YouTube channel. I am going to list her channel down below. She does so many fun unboxings. She has a delightful personality. I love to hear her perspective on things. She has that little bit of hippie chick in her too that I, I see in myself. So our style is very similar. And in fact, Robin, we should do a collab one of these days. And another viewer named Pat, she doesn't have a channel that I can discern, but Pat mentioned specifically, hi Pat, that these shoes reminded her of the Fergalicious boots and booties. And I have to agree, I have several pair of Fergalicious booties and I love the aesthetic of them, but I don't find all of them to be comfortable. Sometimes there's an issue with the pitch. These shoes that remind me so much of that brand are so comfortable. They have a stacked heel, a rounded kind of almond toe. They have this crisscrossy detail that definitely speaks to my inner hippie chick. So I want to talk about this jacket. And I know that a lot of you have told me that you're over moto jackets. I personally am not. I still love them. So I'm going to continue to wear them. And I was thrilled to find the moto jacket that I have on now. And I also found a black one at Walmart, especially for the price. The reason I love this particular moto jacket so much is even though I have several moto jackets, I did not have one in this cognac color. This is machine wash, tumble dry, super, super comfortable. It's not made out of a fussy fabric like leather or suede that you have to worry about, oh my gosh, what if I get it wet? And it has this ribbed net detail on the sides and on the inner arm that makes this so comfortable. It's like wearing a cozy sweater, but I think looks very stylish. I'll show you the back as well. I also have it on with a belt that I bought, and this is one of the few, I'm sorry about the obnoxious tag right here, it's literally stapled onto the jeans and I didn't take the time to pull it off because I didn't want to rip the jeans, but I am definitely keeping these jeans, I love them. I got this belt from the brand No Boundaries, and I usually try to stay away from the juniors department, but something about this aesthetic was kind of pulling me toward the cowgirl look, so I wanted this belt with kind of this burnished buckle, and I'll come in closer to show you this. But this is another look that I came up with, with this buffalo plaid top. So I want to show you a little bit of the close-up detail on this jacket. It is this super soft sweatshirt feeling material. It has working pockets with kind of a brass hardware. There are snaps at the wrists. I unsnapped it and cuffed it in this instance, but I would also wear it full length. It has this ribbed detail that really cinches in the waist, but also makes it ultra comfortable. That same rib detail is also all along the inner part of the arm, so it makes it very, very comfortable. In this instance, because this top is made out of a very thin woven, I was able to tuck it in completely, even though it's kind of a long top and you can't even really see it bunching. This belt is by no boundaries. I love that belt buckle. And I want to show you these jeans while I'm in tight as well. This is the lightest wash skinnies I've ever purchased, and I'm really liking these. So there's the back, and I don't have any kind of gap even without the belt, but I wanted to wear the belt because I thought it looked nice with it. I love this jacket so much, I can't say enough about it. So this is a close-up of the shoes. They have an almond toe. I love this crisscross detail. They have a zipper in the back, which makes them very easy to get on and off. The stacked heel is just the right height for me. They have a really nice tread where I feel completely stable. I hope that's focusing. These are so comfortable. And Robin, if you're watching, I just, I couldn't help myself. I had to go back and get them. I told myself that if I got these shoes, I would have to return three other pair. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And now that I've tried these on with a couple of outfits, I know for sure that I'll get a lot of use out of these. And I'm back with yet another outfit with the same buffalo plaid top. 
I have on another one of the duster cardigans, and this one is kind of in an ivory cream color. This is so neutral. This is going to go with everything. I can really see myself using the black, the cognac, and this one. They also had this in a purple and a gray, which will, I'll probably feature those in a couple of outfits as well, but I wanted to show you this. And again, these sweaters all have these walking slits. My only complaint about these sweaters, and it, it's kind of minor considering the price point, if these had pockets, they would be perfect. Unfortunately, they don't have pockets, but I love everything else about them. I love the weave of them, the weight of them, the walking slits, the fact that you can wear it with a belt or not. So I wanted to show you what these cardigans look like actually buttoned up, and I buttoned most of them. And I will, on occasion, tie one of these with the ties that come with all of them. So let's look at some more outfits. For this next look, I have on the same light wash, skinny, slightly distressed jeans that I know that I'm keeping. I don't own another pair of this color. They feel like a very good quality for the price. The shoes that I have on, if I'm being completely honest, I walked past several times. I was on the fence about them. But once I got them home and started styling them, I realized how absolutely versatile this color is. And I'll show these to you close up. I have on the same winter white cream colored cardigan that I've been wearing in a lot of these outfits and I've thrown on a top that I love so much and I'll show this up close to you. I have also switched out my earrings for this look and I'll show you those close up as well. So here is another outfit using the long cardigans that come in so many colors this year. So I want to tell you about this top. I loved it so much I picked it up in three colors and if you watched my fall shoe and booty haul you saw this in a teal color. Now I have on this rust or pumpkin color and the first thing I want to talk about are these ties. Oftentimes with most tops that have these ties I'm at a loss what to do with them. They don't quite look right tied or when you tie them they're choking you. This one even if it is fully tied like I'm doing here is far enough from my neck that it doesn't bother me at all. This is a very soft, cozy, stretchy fabric, and I love this ivory crochet detail that's here and here. I'm very partial to a flutter sleeve. I think it's very feminine and pretty, and I have this front tucked right now, but I could just as easily wear this out. That's what the top looks like not tucked in, and I would wear it either way, especially with the long cardigan. I'm not as prone to doing the front tuck when I have on a long cardigan. But I love so much about this. I love the contrast and stitching of this. And it has a length that hits me at just the right place. And I'll show you the back as well. But I have switched out my earrings. And again, these were $1. And they are this pretty ivory color. I just think these are so pretty. I can't believe they're a dollar. When I first saw these shoes, I was a little bit lukewarm on them and I kept walking past them and I'd look at them and then I'd walk away and I'd go back and look at them again. So I decided to give them a try. These are a very unique color in my opinion and like nothing else that I currently own. They almost look like a rose gold to me. They have a little bit of a sheen and the stitching, and I am hope that's showing up on camera, the stitching that's right here reminds me of being very Western inspired. It has just the right size stacked heel for me to be very comfortable. They have the zipper on and off, which I always appreciate. They have a nice tread where I feel very sturdy and stable with these on. And these are surprisingly comfortable. They have memory foam on the inside. I also picked these up in black, which I'll show in a future outfit. But I'm really glad that I got these now. I was really on the fence of how I would even style them. And when I started pairing things with the winter white or cream colored cardigan that I have on, I realized that this soft, almost rose gold color was a beautiful complement to it. This is the same top as the rust colored one that I showed you a moment ago, only this is in black. I have on a belt by the brand Time and True. Same Time and True light skinny jeans because I'm really digging these right now. I have on these laser cut black suede like lace up shoes with a stacked heel and I did feature these in my fall shoe and booty haul and I'll try to remember to link that in the cards above. This is that same duster length cardigan that I've been pulling so much because it matches the trim in these tops in particular. It occurs to me to ask, I've been styling a lot of pieces reusing pieces and getting multiple looks out of them because that's what I do in my own closet. But do you prefer when I show you multiple options like what I'm doing today in this video 
or do you prefer that I show a piece one time and then move on to the next? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious and I certainly can film it either way. And let's look at another outfit. I'm back with another outfit and I decided to pull this mustard handbag again because it tied back so nicely to the rib knit sleeveless top that I have on. And this is another variation of the winter white one that I showed you earlier. I have on the black moto jacket that is the same cut and fabric as the cognac colored one, so it's super cozy. So I am particularly loving this with the snake print boots. I've always been partial to a boot cut jean, and I'll come in a little bit closer just to show you this top. And just like the cream knit top like this, it has a little bit of an asymmetrical pattern, which I think adds visual interest and texture. And this is the Black Moto close up. I'm trying not to be too noisy on this wood floor because I stepped off of that cushion. And this is how this top looks untucked. So I wanna show you these jeans close up. And these are a mid-rise modern boot cut by Levi Strauss. They are a classic five pocket style. They have great stretch. I love the wash. The fabric feels very quality to me. I have several jeans that I've paid more for that feel just the same as these. I actually like the stitching on the back pocket. It's kind of that saddle or mustard yellow color. It really draws right from the top. That's how they look in the back. I don't have any noticeable gap even without a belt at the waist. And that is always a challenge for me. I am definitely keeping these bootcut jeans. So let's look at another outfit. And I'm back with another outfit. I like the mustard purse with this outfit as well, but I'll go ahead and sit this down so that I can show you the rest. I have on the same Levi Strauss modern bootcut jeans, and I want to give you a full turnaround from a full distance because I believe I only did it close up. They fit very well. They feel very quality. Now I have on a pair of dressier black boots and most of them are obscured by the jeans and I actually started out with a different pair of boots on with this and I thought all the detail was lost on them so I'll show them on another outfit. But these are a great basic black boot. I featured these in my Walmart fall shoe and booty try on. If you haven't watched that, I will link that in the cards above. This is a woven fabric and even as I'm looking in the viewfinder, it looks like it might be flannel, but it is not. It's actually a lightweight cotton. And again, when the hot flashes hit, I have to be able to take layers off. I've tied this at the waist and I do this often with plaid shirts like this. However, I only do it if I have a camisole on underneath. I am not about showing the belly here, just not going to do it. So I have on one of these $1.98 time and true camis that I can't believe the price. At this price, they're practically disposable. And I think it looks really nice with this plaid shirt. I could also just as easily wear this out and maybe button a couple of buttons for a more casual look. And this again speaks to my inner lumberjack that hits this time of year. This does have roll tab sleeves. I have them rolled up and connected right now, but I could just as easily wear them full length. That's how long it is in the back. I could also very easily wear this top with black leggings, which I also have to show you. So let's look at another look. I'm back with another outfit. I apologize if you hear any background noise. There's a plane flying overhead now. A moment ago, I was waiting for the dog to stop barking, but I just have to keep going if I'm ever gonna get this video up. I have on the modern boot cut Levi Strauss jeans. I love the color of this buffalo plaid. I love the navy and the teal color. I left it untucked to show you. I have on the belt that I picked up at Walmart and the cami that I picked up at Walmart. I meant to show you the earrings, the last outfit, so I'm going to come in tight. These are another pair of $1.50 clearance rack. It's kind of a hoop with a white pearl-like stone in the middle. Typically when I wear a plaid shirt, I will tie it at the waist as I showed you with the black one, but I wanted to show you how this looked untucked first. And the reason I mention this is this is actually a size medium, and I usually wear a size small. But because I like to do this, I tend to buy the size up so, so that I can do this. And the only time I will tie up a shirt is if I do have a camisole underneath, as I mentioned, because I'm not showing belly. I'm, I'm way past that age of showing belly, so this is the way I would wear this. 
So for now I have the tabbed sleeves rolled up and I like the three quarter length. I could just as easily wear these full length and I would just unroll it and then just cuff it once. I have the camisole on underneath and I'll just show you how this looks. I am just loving the plaid this year. I'm definitely feeling like a lumberjack. And again, I could wear this either way. You'll notice that even though this is a size bigger than I wear, I don't personally find these particular woven plaids to be boxy necessarily. I still manage to have a little bit of a shape, even with a straight cut shirt like this. And I love the fabric of these. They feel very nice. I'm just going to tie that back up how I would normally wear it. And I always try to make sure that the knot gets me right about there. And let's look at another outfit. I'm back with another outfit, and this is going to have to be the final one for today's video. I would have kept going. I was game. I'm already all in. But I have a trifecta of noise going on, and I don't want the video quality to be poor. My neighbor in that direction just started mowing. They have about three acres, so they're going to be out there about two hours, at which time my lighting will completely change. The husky across the street is yodeling, and the commuters have started to go by on the rumble strips. So I'm going to describe this final outfit, and I just wanna tell you I have part two coming up to this series. Believe it or not, I still have an entire rack of clothes and shoes to show you. I thought I would get through it all today, but it's just not going to happen, so watch for part two. So let me tell you what I have on now. I have on the cognac perforated peep toe booties, and I find that the pieces that I'm pulling over and over for these try-ons, they're the ones I really love, and they're the ones I know I'm going to keep. This is the third or fourth time I've pulled these same shoes. They're so comfortable. They're the perfect heel for me. I have on the Levi Strauss modern bootcut jean again because they're so comfortable and I'm really liking the way they look. I have this final woven plaid. This one is in kind of a rust pumpkin color. It has black and cream going through it. I could have just as easily have worn this with black boots. I have another piece that I haven't shown in this video yet on, and this is the semi-fitted V t-shirts from Walmart. They are such good quality for the price. I absolutely love them. So I'll show you this whole outfit. And again, I apologize about the lawn mowing. It's just going to go on for all eternity. I also believe that the oatmeal colored duster that I've been showing you throughout the video would go very nicely with this outfit. I may go and grab that and show you in just a second. And I have on yet another pair of earrings from the clearance rack. I'm coming in tight. One dollar. <laughs> These are super light. It feels like I have nothing in my ears. And honestly, for a dollar, even if I just wear these for one season, I have definitely gotten my money's worth. So again, I could wear this untucked, and this is also a size medium. And again, I find these particular woven shirts not to be too boxy at all. You can see that it has a curved rounded hem. And even though the traffic is whizzing by and the lawnmower's going and the dog's barking, I wanna show you two more options with this outfit. I just can't help myself. So I'm going to take the plaid off. So this is the semi-fitted V-neck t-shirt from Walmart. This comes in a ton of colors. I had a really hard time deciding, but I don't wear t-shirts a lot, so I picked my favorite, and it happened to be this rust kind of pumpkin color. And I want to show you two more ways that I would style this t-shirt, so I'll be right back. So I'm back with another look with the same v-neck t-shirt. I have on the cognac moto jacket that I love so much that feels like a sweatshirt for all practical purposes. I have on the Levi Strauss modern bootcut jeans, and I have on have the cognac perforated peep toe stack heel shoes on again. And Kayla, if you're watching this video, you need to get these shoes. They are so comfortable. I keep changing outfits, but I keep showing back up in these shoes. I love them so much already. I can tell that they are going to be a staple in my wardrobe. So fun fact, it's probably a good thing that my neighbor did start mowing because I've tried on a lot of clothes and my hair is looking crazy right now. So this is definitely going to be the last look but I pulled this oatmeal cream colored duster length cardigan again because I think it goes so well with this top and the bootcut jeans and the peep toe shoes that Kayla likes so much. 
Kayla, you need to get these shoes. I'm going to link her channel down below. I love her unboxings and she's very close in height to me. She has a lovely personality. She's as sweet as can be. I love her aesthetic. So if you haven't checked her out, I will link that down below. But wait, I have another pair of earrings to show you. I was going to do an entire video just on clearance jewelry, but at the current trajectory, I am probably going to end up showing you all the pieces just in this Walmart fall haul and try on. So I'll just try to do that instead, instead of doing a separate video. But how much fun are these? They're kind of a, it's almost a copper color, like a penny and they were one dollar so fun fact i like these earrings so much that i accidentally bought them twice i brought them home to put them with the items that i was going to show in this haul and i already had the same pair i love them so much and i think you will too so i've decided just now that, <laughs> that i'm going to do a giveaway once i hit 1000 subscribers now it obviously takes time to build a channel and i am patient and i want to build a channel of a community of women that support each other and share fashion and just have fun so i'm not in a big hurry but if you want to be entered in any future drawings i do suggest that you subscribe and leave a comment now and then fun fact I personally just won a giveaway yesterday. I could not believe it. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Lisa from Hot Southern Mess, and I will link her channel down below. And she was talking about this handbag, and I was mesmerized. And I was thinking to myself, as soon as I finish watching her video, I'm going on Amazon and I'm going to buy that bag. Then she announces she's going to do a live giveaway, and I didn't know what that was or how that worked. So I'm watching the screen intently, trying to figure out what program is she using, how do you fairly pick a winner without being biased, and she pushed a button, and it somehow cycled through the comments from a previous video, and whose name popped up? Mine. I couldn't believe it. And Lisa, if you're watching this video, you have no idea how much that made my day. A lot of times I feel like I'm standing here talking to myself when I'm doing these videos and to actually win something from another YouTuber was just the most exciting thing that has happened to me in a very long time. I realize I don't get out much, but I'm just saying, and I was going to buy that purse. So the short story is, if you're not already subscribed, I do suggest that you hit the subscription button. I'm not trying to just build a random base of subscribers though. I want you to subscribe only if you like this content. You're probably 40 plus and you like to share fashion that women our age can pull off and still look chic and stylish. We're not trying to look 20, but we don't want to look like Nana either. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.